the foreigners in your life. Leviticus chapter 19 from verse 33 to 35. When a foreigner resides among you in your land, do not mistreat them. The foreigner residing among you must be treated as your native born. Love them as yourself, for you were foreigners in Egypt. I am the Lord your God. That's the New International Version. There are different sets of people who make up foreigners to you. If you are very wealthy or at least financially comfortable, every poor person may be somewhat of a foreigner to you. His lifestyle is different from yours because he cannot afford the kind of things you have access to. How do you treat people who are less privileged than you? The Lord instructed Pastor Tessie to begin to bring some of the homeless people in their community to church on Sundays. She should arrange lunch for them. Someone should pick them from the homeless shelter where they were staying and then return them there after service. Tessie discussed this with her ministers and church volunteers and started to do exactly as the Lord instructed her. Surprisingly, quite a number of the church members were unhappy about this development. Their reason was that they didn't want homeless people who probably didn't have access to water to take their bath to sit near them. They didn't want their beautiful clothes to be stained by poorly dressed people. They also didn't want to smell like them. So there was a lot of murmuring in the church. Some were also unhappy because homeless people had no money to give as offerings and tithes so they would not be of any use to the church financially. Unbelievers, new converts, and weak Christians are the foreigners in some Christians' lives. Isaiah 65 verse 5, who say, Keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am holier than you. These are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all the day. That's the New King James Version. Some Christians think that anyone who is not born again or who is not as strong as they are spiritually is not good enough and should never come near them. Luke 18, 9 to 14. To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. That's the New International Version. If you keep away from unbelievers and Christians who are struggling with their Christian life, how will you be able to bring the unbelievers to Christ or help and encourage the struggling Christians? To some married people, foreigners are people of their own age who are still single, whereas they have been married for years. It's unbelievable how even some Christians seek to distance themselves from their unmarried age mates. Some would cook up stories of things the unmarried did wrong to make God turn his back on them. Such Christians don't seem to remember that it's not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of God that shows mercy, according to Romans chapter 9, verse 16. The foreigner in your life may be that couple that has been married for many years without a single child, while you have four beautiful, healthy, active, brilliant children. How do you treat or relate with that couple? Do you treat them with love, concern, and compassion? Do you encourage and pray for them? Or do you treat them the way Penina treated Hannah, as recorded in 1 Samuel chapter 1? Do you go around telling everyone that cares to listen that the couple is childless because of their past lifestyle? Your foreigner may be your subordinate at work or your employee, since you are not operating on the same level. God wants you to treat that foreigner the way you would want to be treated if you were in his or her situation, not in a proud, condescending manner that would make it impossible for you to tell them about Jesus and his saving grace. Another foreigner around you is that person in your neighborhood, extended family, church, town, or nation who is from a different tribe or nation. He may be that person whose language or dialect 
is different from yours? Do you treat him with love or do you grab every opportunity to show him with your words, actions, facial expressions, and anything else that is unwelcome, especially if the country or state you both reside in is yours and he is a stranger in it? God wants us to have and manifest his character at all times, in every situation, and towards everyone. Love is God's nature and it is unconditional. If you are a true child of God, you must strive with his help to love everyone, irrespective of their status. The way you treat others may well be what will guide them in deciding for or against becoming born again or remaining in Christ if they are already saved. May the Lord help us all in Jesus' name. Amen.